For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FC24 coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at the checkout for 5% off your order. The 4-2-3-1 YouTube, I like to call it your bread and butter formation. It's all round perfect, amazing going forward and solid defensively. But first, before we get into the custom tactics, drop this video a like for me. Drop a comment down below. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. So, you are going to want to use balanced on the defensive style. Check out Trust dice.win link is down in the description below you do also get daily bonuses just for logging in and have daily login rewards on the crypto bonus you do have a live casino and a normal casino that you can check out so if you do want to check out trust dice link is down in the description below check it out a balanced style where your team presses the ball to the middle of the pitch and your team shape is neutral i just like to be in control of where and when my team presses the ball especially in the 4-2-3-1 and especially because of a certain tweak that has now happened with the defensive depth making a comeback as well constant pressure stay well away from it and press after possession loss he just drains your stamina way 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 too much pressure on heavy touch as well i like it but again because of the 71 depth making a comeback which i will tell you about in a minute you don't really need to use it so i'm using balanced on the defensive style the defensive width, I do go a little bit more narrow in the 4-2-3-1 just to make us a little bit more defensively solid. So I do take it ever so slightly down to 43 on the defensive width. That's what I, I, I love being a little bit more narrow because it really does make us a lot harder to break down. Again, being more defensively narrow really is hard to break down. The reason for this, I want my team to be a little bit more defensively solid in the middle of the pitch. The latest patch, again, is trying to force our defensive structure out wide, which I don't mind. But I do want to be more defensively solid in the middle of the pitch. So that's why I'm using 43 on the defensive width. The defensive depth, I'm so, so, so sorry, YouTube. It's back. I know, I know. It, ah, dear. So, it is going to be 71 depth. Yes, it is. I'm going to, going to tell you that right now. 71 depth is back. I am using and abusing it. There's that 71 depth. Winning the ball nice and high up the pitch. Again, the 71 depth. Winning the ball nice and high up the pitch. Again, the 71 depth. Winning the ball nice and high up the pitch. If any of you don't really know what the 71 depth does, because some of you probably don't know, basically when you lose the ball, your team will automatically press and automatically offside trap. But on the flip side of that, if we were to use a press after possession loss or a pressure on heavy touch, it would drain our stamina so, so, so much. But when we are using the 71 depth, it doesn't do that. It's kind of like a little bit of a glitch in the coding where the game doesn't realise that we're actually using a pressure tactic. So we can really afford to use that 71 depth. Use and abuse it until the cows come home home that's what i'm using so that this little holy trinity here balanced on the defensive style 43 on the width with 71 depth the offense's build up play of course is going to be balanced one thing i will say though you can definitely use long ball or fast build up if you want to having experimented a lot with the 4231 over the last few days before i pushed this video out today on friday i've been using fast build up and long ball to try and experiment with it it is good and a viable option you can definitely use it but for me i do just prefer balanced the chance creation you know what it is going to be youtube it is of course direct passing nothing else i like actually on here i don't like forward runs and i don't like possession and i don't really like balance i don't really see what it does the balance of direct passing i just absolutely love it have done for many 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 years now probably the last two years since it's come into the game and i'll probably continue to love it until something else comes and is is way more effective but at this moment in time i don't see it the offensive width now i do actually go a little bit more narrow with this only ever so slightly down to 45 you will see why what i do with the player instructions in a a minute why i make it a little bit more narrow so i am using 45 on the offensive width players in the box is of course going to be seven the way i look at that youtube like i say in every single oh i've just smashed my mic there i'm sorry like i say in every single video to you the more players that we have in the box the more likely we are to score a goal because balls are, are likely to land at our feet and stuff like that it is very 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 op so definitely give it a go corners and free kicks i of course lower down from three and three to two or two just to stop us getting counter attacked on from our own corners custom tactics done let's get into the play instructions now before we get into the player instructions drop this video a like for me hit that subscribe button to my channel so you never miss a video that would mean the world to me now the striker is on exactly the same lot what they are on for all of my custom tactics my striker player instructions don't really change a lot because i really 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 do enjoy the way that my strikers play so of course my striker is on stay central and getting behind that just means that my striker will stay in them central areas of the pitch and they will wait well, it's actually a sheet and they will make penetrating runs in behind as well very very 
very key. Even if you don't play the ball to your striker, why it is so important to have that player on getting behind is because even if you don't play the ball as they're making them penetrating runs in behind, it does then leave a nice big gap for our cams to operate in, which is very, very, very important. That then brings us nicely onto the middle cam. My middle cam is probably the most important player in the 4-2-3-1 YouTube. So probably have your best or at least favorite player that you've got in that middle cam because everything goes through that cam. So the only playing restriction you are going to want to have on that cam is getting to the box for cross. That means that your cam... Beautiful. There's my middle cam on getting to the box for cross. So, so, so important having that middle cam on getting to the box for cross. We'll make a lot of penetrating runs in behind and overlap your striker as well. And also when we're running down the byline with our Lamb and our Ram or stuff like that, or we are just playing out wide or playing a little bit more narrow, your cam will be in the box. And if they are in the box, it gives us a lot of room to operate in and they will get a lot of goals and a lot of assists just because they are in them attacking situations in the box. So definitely have that cam on getting to the box for cross. The Lamb, this is an absolute game changer. And I've taken inspiration from my 4 triple 2 and used it in this 4 2 3 one. So my Lamb is on comeback on defense, getting to the box for cross and free roam. The free roam is an absolute game changer. This just means that my cam, my left sided cam, sorry. Beautiful, that's what I'm talking about. You see that left sided cam on free roam means that they have a lot of license to drift inwards. Very, very, very OP. Beautiful, beautiful. There's the cam. There's the lamb again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A little bit of a little bit of sauce in there again. But again, that's what I'm talking about. Having all three of your cams on getting to the box for cross. So, so, so important. We'll take a free roll and roam into space to provide a passing option. Very, very, very OP. I absolutely love it. I didn't like having my middle cam on free roam. I actually really did just prefer having my left-sided cam on free roam. It was really, really, really important. Again, the getting to the box for cross means that they are in the box when we are attacking it just again gives us more options in the box and when we have more options in the box we are going to score more goals my ram is on actually a little bit of a difference to my lamb so my ram is only on comeback on defense and get into the box for cross this means that my ram beautiful and there's the ram on getting to the box for cross. So, so, so important having all three of them cams on getting to the box for cross. We'll hold that, like, kind of like the right side of cam position. They will hold the width on that right handed side, but because we go a little bit more narrow, he won't be too much, he won't be too wide. He will still be involved in the builder play in them narrow positions. It's very, very, very key. I actually do prefer only having one of my cams on free roam, and I prefer having it be my left sided cam because you'll see what I do with my left fullback in a minute. Right side is CDM. I use this as your traditional number six. I use this as your Rodri role, your Bubakar Kamara role, your Casemiro role. That's it. This is the role of that player. So stay back while attacking and cover centre. This player will get the ball and just give it to the better players and play in that middle of the pitch and won't go forward at all. Kind of like the destroyer slash deep line playmaker role. Left side is CDM. As always in the 4-2-3-1 is the more attack minded CDM. So the left side is CDM is on balanced attack and cover centre. This left side is CDM will get forward and help out, but not like he would do when he's on get forward. So We'll only get forward a little bit because we have one of the fullbacks, which you will see in a minute why I only have that left side of CDM on balanced attack. I then play with my right back on stay back while attacking. So my right back won't attack at all. We will defend in a back three. Both of my center backs are on completely default settings. And then my left back is the one that is on during the attack and overlap. So that is why I have my left sided cam on free roam. So when my left sided cam kind of drifts inwards a little bit, we get the width from our mar marauding fullback bombing on down that left hand side very 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 op youtube definitely give it a go last but not least my goalkeeper is then on comes to crosses and sweeper keeper that right there is my brand new 4231 custom tactics video for you youtube if you did enjoy this video you know what to do drop it a like for me drop a comment down below please hit that subscribe button to my channel as well that would mean the world to me thank you for watching have a blessed team of the year peace out one love